for this uh, session, I'm going to take you through a few um, some more advanced functionalities of eScriptorio. Um, as we've talked about before, there are a lot of features that are not um, necessarily things that you're going to use either at all or perhaps all of the time. Um, on the other hand, there are a number of features that can come in, uh, come in useful. And today we're going to primarily focus on issues of segmentation and polygons. Uh, and hopefully things will operate uh, for us. Uh, of course, we're, we're still sort of working on, on getting everything, all the kinks worked out. Um, so I want to focus on a couple of things that you can do during the segmentation, after the segmentation has taken place and before you do your transcription. Um, so let's start out by looking at on this page where our initial segmentation has divided this line in two. And of course, this is not something that you want. This is a continuous line. Um, you can fix this very quickly uh, simply by holding down shift and clicking on each line, releasing shift and pressing control and then the letter J on your keyboard. This will join the line together. Um, so you'll see immediately over here that our line has changed. Actually, the polygon has, uh, has adjusted. And if we click on it, let's see, there we go. So it actually has adjusted. If we had done a transcription here and it were visible over here, uh, half of the transcription would be, would be gone. So this is a, a move that you really only want to do, uh, ideally, pre-transcription. Um, since the line to the right, if I remember correctly, will be erased. Um, so this is ideal pre-transcription. Um, as we're looking over our page, we can see that some things need to be cleaned up, so we can delete this line uh, that we don't need. Uh, we see a few other issues as well, so we'll notice that the segmentation lines do not go all the way over. So we're going to do a really quick, easy uh, sort of cure for that. We're going to click on the yellow scissors. Now going to hold down shift again. This cuts all the lines down uh, to an equal shape. All right, so we're going to click away from the scissors, make them yellow again. All right, now once again, we're going to hold down shift. We're going to draw a lasso to get the end points on these lines. All right, now release shift, press control. Now I can adjust all of the lines simultaneously uh, up to the edge of the text. This is particularly useful for text just like this one that have these um, boxes, framing boxes that are pretty typical of particularly 19th century printed texts, uh, but which often throw the OCR off. And so you might end up with uh, the beginning parts of your lines or the end parts uh, missing. And if you look over here, actually, we can see uh, the same sort of thing. So I can do the what I just did there. I'll hit the scissors again, hold down shift, and there, reduce the ends of the lines, toggle off, hold down shift. All right, now hold down control, and I can move all of these forward. So one other thing that we can also do uh, with these uh, segmentation lines, you notice that some of them are a bit crooked, and that's because they have multiple points that they've drawn, even though the, the text is in fact quite straight. Uh, so one thing that we can do, I can again hold down Shift. I can highlight all of these points in the middle that we really don't need, and then hit the yellow trash can icon. And that will straighten out the lines. So uh, this is generally not a necessary step, but occasionally it might be helpful. Um, something else also to keep in, to, to notice uh, here: uh, this marginal commentary has not um, segmented e either not at all or not properly. So we're going to need to fix this manually. And we can select multiple lines at once by holding down Shift and by clicking on the lines here. Click on these, and then just hit delete. Right, now I can draw new lines by clicking once. There we go. And then pulling the line over. And then, and so on and so forth. So let's go down the down the marginal commentary. 
this might will often be faster than trying to fix uh, incorrect lines or partial lines or, or joining them. Again, this is something that you should obviously be doing before you do your transcription. Um, that way, all of the text is covered by segmentation. Uh, and if everything were running correctly, which currently it's not, the polygons would automatically be generating here. Uh, of course, right now they're not, and that's something that we're, we're working on. So, all right, so those are just uh, a, a handful of things that you can do that will improve your transcription. Again, particularly if you're working on older text, um, you'll find that more recent texts don't necessarily have uh, quite as many issues, but the addition of, of these elements often can, can cause some trouble with the OCR. Uh, marginal commentary in particular will, will often cause some issues, but by cleaning up the segmentation initially and, and making some corrections, you can then improve the initial OCR and save some time for yourself.